This is Joel Smith, 28.1, and I'm going to talk about lifestyle factors and different athletes and how that affects their sport that they're doing. So the first factor I'm going to talk about is uh, alcohol. Um, a good example of this is Ben Stokes. Um, he was out on a night out and he was drinking a lot and um, he got into a fight uh, outside the nightclub. Um, uh, of uh, Ben Stokes drinking alcohol, um, this can make him perform worse. Is so if he had a match within the next week or so, uh, the alcohol could still be in his system and that could still um, make him perform worse. It could affect his uh, kidneys and liver, uh, which would also be really bad. And also, um, an external fact would be it would look bad on the club because if he got fighting due to alcohol reasons and start to become addicted and drinking alcohol then it would just look bad in the club and um, the club may w not want to play him because of his um, actions. That means he could lose out on money and it also could mean out he's losing on playing time um, for his team. Um, that could also make him uh, perform worse, so he could be drunk um, and liver damage. Um, so when he's playing uh, cricket, he may not be able to perform to the standard he was um, before drinking. Um, and also the club could leave him out of the team, which would be a massive deal because he plays for England cricket team. Um, and uh, say uh, at his club and he wasn't performing for a club, then he might not get picked for England. Um, and if England had a big tournament coming up, then it may be really, really disappointing for him. Um, and he may not be a, a regular starter that he was. He may become like a reserve. Um I think the knock-on effect of alcohol is obviously the liver damage, and uh, you can also get alcohol poison if you become, start to become addicted, um, which is really really easy to do. And if he starts to become get really bad liver damage, uh, he may have to quit, uh, because it is known in some instances where football has ha have had to quit, and uh, because it's done him uh, that bad. Uh, a good example of this was George Best when um, he just drunk and drunk and drunk, and then got a liver transplant, and then kept drinking. Uh, was forced to quit and then later on died. Um, uh, and that's a really big knock-on effect. Uh, the next li uh, lifestyle factor I'm going to talk about is gambling. Uh, a good example of this is Joey Barton when he played at Burnley. Um, I think the internal factors would be obviously addiction. Um, he, he could become in debt and he could become broke. Um, also another um, internal factor for key. Um, other people started suffering from this because he could start borrowing money from other people, gambling it away, losing it, and then not being able to pay anyone back. So that could make others suffer um, from his own addiction. Also, um, an external factor could be it could make the club look bad because they're not keeping control of what he does, and it uh, could reflect bad on the club because... Um, other teams wouldn't want to buy him or would look um or like sky pundits would make him look really bad um because of what he's doing and also the club could leave him out of the team because it it could be in his uh, breach of contract um that he's not allowed to go out and not allowed to party and not allowed to go gambling and not allowed to do all these things um also an example uh, Joey Barton got addicted to gambling and then he got banned from football for two years. Um, this is when he was at Burnley. And now um, he did bring the club's name down. And he brought his own name down because now he'll be remembered as just a gambling player um, that you can't trust. Um, and also he's now gone into manager because he, he won't be able to play football again. Because no one will really want him in his team because if they know what his past is. I think the cons of gambling would be um, he might breach the contract, and also um, he can get if he breaches his contract, he may get fined for what he done, and that fine could like break player, um, especially like taken away from Joe Barnes. If it was someone lower league down as uh, lower league, um, and he didn't earn that much money, and for instance he got fined thirty thousand pounds and he's only on a couple of grand a week. Uh, that's going to take a massive uh, pay cut out of his wages, which um, could leave him in debt, which would obviously be really bad as well. Uh, another, style, another lifestyle fact would be smoking. 
a good example of this was Johan Cruyff um, uh, back in his playing days. Um, an internal factor would be damage to his body, uh, addiction and spending money when you didn't need to on pointless things. Uh, which would just make him his performances play uh, worse, um, and also smoking. Um, it can reduce how well you can run, so he may not have been able to run as well. Um, that could have played a massive part in his game, and obviously then he had to quit. Uh, an external fa- uh, fact would be um, he could look bad. Um, so if little kids looked up to him. Um, then it may look bad because they may think, oh, Smoker's the way, or smoke because he was really good. Smoker may have improved his game. Little kids may have thought that when actually the case was it was making him play worse and um, it was just getting him addicted to what he shouldn't have been doing. Um, explanation. Uh, Johan Cruyff, um, it was recorded that he would normally smoke about 40 cigarettes a day, which is obviously really expensive uh, back then. Um, where he could have been spending that money on different things, on better things. And he became addicted and um, just started to spend a lot of money when uh, he should have been spending it on different things, where he could have been spending it on things that could have improved his game, could have helped him uh, down the line. Uh, I think the con of that would be um, a shorter life, definitely, because uh, you can get really bad lung cancer um, through smoking. He died at 68 years old. Which is fairly young uh, now. Uh, back then, um, obviously, so smoking. Um, I think if he wouldn't have smoked, he would have gone on to live a lot, a lot older because he was a good football. He did keep in shape, but obviously that smoking damaged his damaged his lung and then eventually got lung cancer and died from it. I think the pros are he's still gonna he still had a really really good legacy even though he done the smoking, which back then he shouldn't have. Because I think he would have become a much much better player and been able to do a lot more things without smoking. Uh, the next lifestyle factor I'm going to talk about is living away from home. I think a good example of this is Alvaro Morata. He's do, he moved from Real Madrid to Chelsea uh, this summer. And I think the in, an internal factor may, he may not as try as hard because there's no one there. Um, like for example, his parents wouldn't be there, so his parents wouldn't be able to push him um to the max of his efforts, which I think is a really uh, a disappointment because I think you've got to have someone behind you and got to have a parent to push you because otherwise you're just going to take your foot off the gas um and may not try as hard, and I think that's played a really big part in um Morata's uh, first season at Chelsea where. Um, he hasn't played as well as he should have at the start when he first started playing for Chelsea. Uh, he looked like he was interested. He looked like he was going to play, and then took his foot off the gas. Didn't bother anymore, and hasn't hasn't played as well as since. Um, people, uh, I think an uh, an external uh, fact would be I think people think he's unreliable, uh, and he beca- and he could become unhappy and depressed. So living away from home because he won't speak, he doesn't speak the best English and nor does his girlfriend. Um, and being around people that just speak English all day isn't the best of them because they're not waking up to like sunshine and uh, he could become unhappy and depressed and that could be, and that could result or reflect onto his playing games for Chelsea. Um, I think the cons of this would be the fans would get on his back. Um, so if he took his foot off the gas and didn't try as hard, the fans would really get at him and then that could make him want to quit even more and not want to be at the club. So I do think that plays a really, really big effect uh, part in his uh, game. Uh, he lies as well. Um, he lies about injuries, which is obviously uh, really not good for football's point of view because all punts, guys who are pundits and fans will pick up on that and they'll just make his life much worse. Um... And also, but I think the pros are, if he had any bad friends and left them behind, then that could drag him down. So if back in Spain, if he had any friends that would make him play worse or play slower, I think that's a really good thing of leaving them behind because you don't want them to drag him down. Uh, The last uh, factor I'm going to talk about is sponsorship. Um, I was using an example of Eden Hazard. Uh, Since he's been with Nike... um, 
or when he got with Nike um, sponsor, his um, increased worth of a player has increased massively financial, um, which is also really important for him because uh, if um, he wasn't on the signs, like he goes to uh, Nike events and um, meets people and does autographs and does signatures and shows off the new merchandise, I think people are going to really, really look up to him and start looking at him as a role model. But I also think it can become worse because it can restrict your life rules. So for sponsorship, he may not be able to play with... Say if he's sponsored with Nike, he may not be play, able to play with any Adidas, um, Adidas merchandise, which I do think is wrong because he should be able to wear what he wants to wear and when he wants to wear it. But I also think it is really good for him because he is going to uh, Nike events and meeting people and... Getting players, uh, getting people to like him. Uh, I think a pro of this would be um, his fan base would increase massively because if he start posing with all the night gear on adverts, these adverts can get played around the world, China, America, which would obviously increase his fan base. And also, I think it would increase the club fan base as well because if these people from China um, just looked at Hazard. And then would want to watch him every week. They would start to follow Chelsea, um, which obviously increased increased their fan base, and they could start selling more uh, T-shirts, more shirts, more merchandise, which would really really help um, help Chelsea. This has been Joel Smith twenty eight point one.